Seiko Epson Corporation was among the first companies worldwide to get behind Skara technology. Our own Skara research and development, combined with over 30 years production experience, means our customers are guaranteed robots with the highest precision, speed and quality, as well as optimum ease of use. Epson robot systems are always supplied as functional ready-to-use units consisting of the manipulator, controller, software, cables, emergency stop connection and connector kits. Designed for tabletop mounting, other available mounting configurations are wall mount or ceiling mount. Cleanroom ESD, ISO 3 or IP54 and IP65 configurations are also available. G-Series Skara robots come with an internal cable harness with four pneumatic tubes and both 9 and 15 pin D-sub connectors for user wiring. The monocoque profile design of the arm offers extremely high torsional rigidity. In addition, Epson robots offer a continuous insertion force of between 150 and 250 Newton. Higher instantaneous forces can be applied. Mechanical end stops ensure that even with unintentional motion commands, the robot never enters protected areas, thus avoiding damage. The Z-axis quill allows for mounting of complex custom grippers as well as simple tools. The Epson Micro PowerDrive RC180 controller is a low-cost, high-performance robot controller that provides the ultimate experience in ease of use, compact size and reliability. The RC180 controller is able to drive four or six axis robots with either a PLC master or a push-button interface panel. The standalone controller design allows for instant power-up and instant power-down without the concern of corrupting or crashing an operating system. Expansion cards enable seamless integration of various options, including field bus systems, serial interfaces and additional I.O. The controller automatically boots its operating system a few seconds after powering on. The RC180 controller provides the ultimate experience of industry-leading ease of use with Epson RC Plus development software. Epson RC Plus is the preferred control environment for both beginners and seasoned professionals alike. It provides core performance features superior to many other robot vendors such as power, flexibility and expandability for 4-axis and 6-axis Epson robots. With high performance spell, it offers a programming language which is both easy to read and intuitive to master. See for yourself how easy it is to program robots using spell. Epson RC Plus offers a clear and functional user layout with Project Explorer providing an overview and easy access to all the important tools. First, we will create a new project, my first Epson project, to show you how quickly you can master the steps necessary to load a palette using spell. Our computer is connected to the controller via USB. You can also use an Ethernet connection. After starting our project, the next step is to access the robot manager. This screen contains many functions necessary to teach and control the robot. First, we turn on the motors. We begin our palletizing program by teaching the pallet locations in the Jog and Teach screen. We do this by enabling the motors and jogging the robot to the desired locations. The controller lets you view coordinates of the axis in real time. The robot can also be moved easily by hand. This direct teaching saves time. A separate teach pendant is not required. Using the Jog and Teach screen, you jog the robot to the necessary points in sequence, teach the point, and then name them. In Project Explorer, you will find the point data. Here you can edit the positions previously entered, align coordinates, and rename the label if required. The required points for our program are now taught and clearly named. The first step is complete. 
In the second step, we create the robot's operating program. In the Project Explorer, the program main.prg is created. RC Plus has pre-installed the main function for you. Here we will enter any variables or parameters required for the program. As Spell is an easy-to-read, high-performance language, you don't have to memorize any complicated execution codes. We enable the motors using the command motor on. For the speed, we just write speed 100. Speed relates to the speed at which the robot moves, but what does the number 100 mean? If you have questions relating to any command, simply move the cursor over the command in question and press F1. This gives you access to a comprehensive explanation in the Integrated Online Help section. Here, you will find all the information relating to a command. For the speed command, the speed can be entered as a percentage. You select a value from 1 to 100% to instruct the robot at what percentage of its maximum speed it should move. In this case, it is 100%. We also enter the desired acceleration and deceleration values, as well as the payload for the robot. And that's it! Now we define the robot's motion profile. First, we use the command go to instruct the robot to go to its starting position. To simplify the programming, RC Plus provides a listing of all labeled points. Go involves a rapid point-to-point -point movement, all axes start and stop simultaneously without interpolation. The jump command works differently. The robot departs from its current location prior to its motion to the destination. This combination of motion does not require teaching additional points for departing and approaching locations. The command limb Z allows you to restrict the Z height during the jump command. Epson robots are of course capable of interpolated motions as well. With the move command, the robot moves in a straight line from point to point. So far we have shown you how easy it is to program the robot's motion. However, more complex sequences are similarly straightforward to describe. This is well illustrated using a typical pick and place routine. Most people are familiar with the common task of loading and unloading pallets with robots. Pallet number one consists of the point data P11, P12 and P13. It has a total of 25 positions with five columns and five rows. The variable I counts from one to 25. The parts are picked from red token and placed onto the pallet in order. The pallet positions are indexed using the I variable. We compile the program with the F5 key and then we press start. In just a few steps, we have programmed a simple pallet. More complex palettes, for example palettes with inconsistencies, can also be programmed in a similar, straightforward way. Instructions on how to do this can be found in the online help section or in the language manual in the help tab. One final tip. You can create a backup on a USB memory stick even while the robot is in operation. Your memory stick will then contain the complete program, including all taught points and a history of any errors and events. With Epson RC Plus, you can create your own user error codes. Epson RC Plus maintains a running history of all events and errors. This provides a clear picture of operations even after months or years of running. Have we sparked your interest? Give us a call and request a fully functional version of our RC Plus software. At Epson, we and our worldwide partners are ready to help.